Throughout modern history, many inventions have enabled major breakthroughs for humanity. Automobiles and trains are inventions that have forever changed the means of transportation, allowing one to travel long distances over land with speed and relative safety. But the dream of flying freely like birds has always spurred the human imagination since ancient times, something that became possible with the invention of airplanes. Before the invention of airplanes, there were many attempts to fly. Such devices as kites, hot air balloons, dirigibles, gliders, and other aircraft were tested by inventors of the world over many centuries. The famous Leonardo da Vinci examined the wings of birds, distinguishing for the first time the center of mass and the center of pressure in bird flight. Leonardo da Vinci conceived of an aircraft capable of being powered by man, but his project did not receive much attention at the time. It was not until 1799 that George Cayley, an English engineer, inventor, and aviator, presented the concept of the modern airplane as a fixed-wing flying machine, with separate systems for lift, propulsion, and control. Cayley was a pioneer in aeronautical engineering, and is sometimes referred to as the father of aviation. He identified the four forces in a heavier-than-air flying vehicle, weight, lift, and drag and thrust. Modern airplane design is based on these findings and the importance of arched wings, as proposed by Cayley. The invention of the first motorized aircraft generated controversy. Many say that it was the American brothers, Orville and Wilbur Wright, who made the first controlled and sustainable flight of a motorized, heavier-than-air aircraft on December 17, 1903. Others claim that it was the Brazilian Alberto Santos Dumont who did it on October 23, 1906, where he set the first world record recognized by Aero Club de France, flying 220 meters in less than 72 seconds using the so-called 14-bis airplane. This favoritism towards Santos Dumont was justified because no witnesses saw the Wright's flights since their tests were not a public event. For this reason, the Wrights had difficulty establishing their legitimacy, particularly in Europe. On the other hand, Santos Dumont's flight was the first public event in the world, he was hailed as the inventor of the airplane throughout Europe. But the Wright brothers conducted their successful flight tests about three years before Santos Dumont. In France, Wilbur Wright found a much more receptive public. He made many public flights and gave rise to officials, journalists, and statesmen to prove their invention's efficiency. The Wright brothers quickly began selling their planes in Europe before returning to the United States in 1909. The brothers became wealthy businessmen, sealing airplane contracts in Europe and the United States. The U.S. government purchased its first airplane, a Wrights Brothers biplane, on July 30, 1909. In 1912, a plane designed by the Wright Brothers was armed with a machine gun and flew at an airport in College Park, Maryland. It was the world's first armed flight. World War I served as a test for using the airplane as a weapon. Airplanes proved their ability as mobile observation platforms and then as war machines, capable of inflicting casualties on the enemy. British aviators John Alcock and Arthur Brown made the first non-stop transatlantic flight in June 1919. They flew in a modified World War I Vickers Vimy bomber. The two aviators were awarded the honor of Knight Commander of the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire by the hand of King George V. Also, in 1919, the first international commercial flights between the United States and Canada occurred. During World War II, airplanes went through many evolutionary processes, becoming extremely fast and powerful machines, far superior to the first airplane models. Also, during World War II, the first jet planes were created. The first was the Heinkel HE-178, tested in 1939. A few years later, in 1943, the Messerschmitt Me-262 was the first operational jet fighter serving in the German Luftwaffe. Jet aircraft technology continued to be developed, making it possible to create huge commercial airliners capable of carrying hundreds of people and luggage. This is the case with the famous Boeing 747, the world's largest passenger plane from 1970 until it was superseded by the Airbus in 2005. Commercial aircraft with supersonic capability were also created, such as the Franco-British Concorde airplane. Despite its great promise, it was a high-cost and unsafe aircraft and was withdrawn from service. Today, many military aircraft can reach and exceed supersonic speeds, a feat only possible thanks to human ingenuity and a desire to push new limits.